How's it going guys? Welcome back. Now, this is the game that I've I just played it and honestly, dude, I am so hyped to bring this game um, to you guys. I have the live recording of it, so I did record it as I played it. So if you want that one, please let me know and I will upload that one as well. So that's me actually playing it live. This one here, I wanted to do a live, co uh, uh, like a commentary over it first because this game is such a perfect example of where the strengths of this pick in this role lie. Like, honestly, it's so much fun, and I hope you guys see how much fucking fun it is to play this this champion when, when you can just control the game so much. Like, everything is entirely yours. It's awesome. So, it's Yorick versus Karthus. Now, this is my last promo to Diamond 1. So, um... Yeah, it's not looking to be a great one. Yorick versus Karthus is not a good matchup for me because, generally speaking, when junglers full clear, if they full clear faster than Yorick, then it forces me to play a gank heavy playstyle. And I don't really like playing, like, only gank. I like to play gank and farm. Um, so you can see, I started Machete. Whenever you're top team, always start Machete um, and start your red. Never start blue. It's the worst thing you can do. So I didn't want to leash here because I didn't want them to know where I started. Um, so you can see we start red, we go the Krogs. So standard clear, you guys have seen it probably 15 times by now. So nothing out of the ordinary with this one. The first bit of difference is going to come in here. So you see we're going to the Krogs, we're going to the Raptors here. But then I've actually noticed that my mid lane is fighting. And I actually saw the Talon flash. So what we did is we... Half towards mid. I figured if he had flashed, I could probably get a kill here. So we get a nice flash and a Q and he's dead. Cool. So I could leave the lane the way it is right now. And looking back at it, it's probably not a bad idea if I had just left it and made my my mid lane a recall. Because this isn't actually pushing to him. Uh, this isn't actually pushing to the enemy. This is pushing to us really heavily. Um, but I thought I could push it into their tower in time. So as you see, I push it with him. I get so much experience out of this, it's insane. And then I'm forced to push the next wave as well, just so it doesn't freeze for him. The plus side of being able to push a wave, and this is why you should always look to push waves after you gank with Yorick, is so you can raise ghouls afterwards. Because otherwise, you, you leave without ghouls. Now, if you can imagine the difference in clear speed, if I go the Raptors with ghouls versus without ghouls, it's much different. You save like three seconds at least. So here, I had actually expected... I'll put on our vision, sorry. Um, I had actually expected Karthus to start bottom side here. So I went and secured the top scuttle because I figured we had priority on our mid. So I went for the top scuttle. Little did I know Karthus actually started blue. So that kind of wasn't correct. And I had cons I thought he was in my bottom jungle now um, since he didn't show up to the top scuttle. So... You can see my bot lane auto loses, unfortunately. There's that's a 0-2 support. We're just gonna full clear as much as we can. Turns out my blue was there, so I was really happy about that one. And because of that, I figured, well, the scuttle was must be here as well. And that was here. So we ended up getting six camps plus the scuttle. Uh, plus both scuttles. So that's a really, really nice start for me. Um, I was running towards their jungle to have a look around. I actually wanted to get his Krugs because I wasn't sure. Like I said, I thought he started red. So when you start red, your first camp respawns at about 4 minutes 30. So I figured this Krug camp had to be here. But because he started blue, it didn't spawn for quite a while. So I'll sit in the bush. I, I'm not going to gank this because it's too, pushing too hard. So we'll put a ward down and we'll recall on the spot. Hopefully that protects them from Karthus. And we'll run straight to our Krugs and let's go get that... Um, that upgraded experience. So normally, recently I've been playing gank heavy for the bot lane. But this game here, I couldn't because they were so far behind all the time. Every time, especially with Pike, dude. Pike just makes things so much harder. So I was running around trying to find a, an opening to do something. And no kidding, their bot lane was just an absolute nightmare to verse in this game. Their pike especially, like they left at every opportunity they could, they would roam and rotate. It was awesome. It was so awesome to see them um, leave lane so often. So you can see we go for this level 6, like normal. There we go, got level 6. Now, I see Karthus going for the for going for the scuttle here. So what I wanted here was I wanted the scuttle. So I'm going to pop Predator. So you see I pop Predator. Just the Predator Indicator alone is enough for Karthus to back out. Now he smites. 
and I get it with my Q. <laughs> but then you can see my Z's coming down. So we land the E, ult around him, and run. Now, if that Z was, if that Talon was smart, he would have jumped on me then, and that would have benefited big time from this play. So the first mistake I did here was going for his Raptors. I should have just gone straight mid, uh, but because I didn't have vision on his Raptors, I wasn't sure if it was there or not. So he leave the ghouls in mid, and let's go get the Raptors. On our side, at least. So those ghouls are helping him push. Helping me get CS. That's all good. No problem at all. So we go red as well. And after red, top is really far pushed. So let's go get top lane. Now, I know I can kill him because it's it's a NASA slug. He's pretty weak. So Pantheon executes him really nicely. We push the lane up afterwards. Notice how much I tax as well. I tax a lot at the moment, guys. Majority of the time I'm taxing if I'm ganking. Um, and I only gank lanes that I can tax afterwards because it just doesn't work well if you don't. Um, looking at it now, I should have recalled here. Oh, never mind. Cool, so that's going to be a warrior enchantment. And we went some health items here. So we went for the phage first. You know, notice that I normally go for the sheen. This game I went for the phage. Um, you never want to buy, with regard to buying Trinity, never buy the mana crystal only. Always buy a different component if you can only afford component parts of the sheen. You want to always buy your sheen outright. Never sit on the mana crystal. It's the worst thing you can do. So we'll go for the blue here. After the blue, we're going to go for the uh, for the scuttle. Now, because their bot lane keeps leaving on the minimap, you can see, I figured it was warded. So I didn't want to do anything about this. So dodge the Q. Um, and they had to have wards everywhere here. So let's just go back to farm. Notice my top lane is now winning because we got the gank off in that lane. And we're going to look to go bot here. I peeked at Karthus there. You notice that Karthus is there? So we're going to leave that lane. We're not going to bother. We're going to run around. Now we're going to loop back, okay? Now the reason I went for this dragon is if you actually look back... Sorry, I have to go back here. Notice that when we get vision of Karthus, he's recalling. So I waited basically enough time that I figured his recall would have gone through. And if you watch, it was actually true. It actually happened. And then I went for the dragon. Um, they followed up anyway, so you can see how on top of it they were. They were absolutely awesome. They were playing really well, their bot lane. Really hard to deal with. So we'll go straight for the uh, Raptors here. And now we'll go for the top gank. Now, my top laner forced this a bit too hard. Uh, because you always got to consider the Karthus. What he should have done is let the Nasus clear the ward. It gives him confidence, which that he then goes back to the lane and pushes. Because if you look, he had the pink ward anyway here. So there was a good chance this gank wasn't going to work. But we're going to stay in the lane anyway. We're going to push it one more. Because uh, at least leave the ghouls in the wave. Now, I was expecting the Talon to come up. So clear the waves and then go out this way rather than this way. Because I figured Talon was over here. Turns out he was running bot. <laughs> so we'll go to the Raptors here. You can see how scared I was of the Talon, dude. I figured he was coming. There we go. So we'll get the red buff. Now, I was running to their blue because I was a bit confident here. Um, but then the Talon sees me. And then Karthus has already taken it. So all of a sudden, a wild Nasus appears. Now, I want to point out the wall. The wall I put here. So I like to advocate a lot when people ask me, how do you gank? Blah, blah, blah. Um, well, choosing where you put your walls is a huge thing that you need to learn as Yorick. There's, th there's like three different types of walls I could put here. I could either trap the Nasus directly and jump on the Karthus. I could trap the Karthus and jump on the Nasus. Or I could trap the person and then jump on them. Here, what I opted to do was I actually was intending on going on the Karthus here. So I walled off here, then was going to E him and then use the Blast Cone over to him. So you can see I put the wall up and path left. Karthus backs out, so then I path right instead. And then that wall ended up acting as a way of blocking this guy getting in anyway. So we get a nice kill there. So I, I attribute a lot of that to the wall itself there. I get some nice spam pings from my teammate there. Lovely players. So I was going to his red here. And then as you can see, their bot lane mist disappears again. So I figured they were rotating again. And what do you know? <laughs> They're there again. Absolute nightmare. So I really need to recall this stage. I have a lot of gold. Notice I have 2.2 thousand gold. So we're going to get this. We're going to stay for the blue and then we're going to recall. There we go. So we notice we recall as we're doing the blue. 
So this is one thing you'll learn as you play games with Yorick Jungle. You'll learn how much damage you can do. I know if I left it at this health, it would kill it with the, just the ghouls and the maiden. So we leave it. Doesn't matter if the ghouls get hurt. One gets raised from its death, and then whatever one was damaged at the um, while doing the blue gets healed at the fountain. So there's no risk at all. Always save time if you can. So I go for the Sheen plus the Stinger. I have a big thing for Stinger um, as a second item instead of going for the Phage. Um, I know I said I was going for Phage earlier, but I like the CDR, so um, I go for the Stinger. So I get the, I get the um, Scuttle. And I can see how much they're diving at bot. So now we're going to rotate. So here goes the Predator. Now, I was anticipating her to flash the wall. So you see, I park down this way. She flashes. And I get myself a nice kill. Dude, Predator's damage is nothing to joke about. It's actually so strong. Now, I was figuring I was wasting time here. So I was looking to cut him off. That's fine. Now I see the Karthus is trapped. So I go for the Engage on Karthus. Now, the most important thing to do is just dodge the Qs. As you can tell, as you can see, I couldn't do shit all. But my um, top laner comes and helps me out. Now, I remember, I, we saw him cast his ult before. So I knew he didn't have ult. So what I'm doing is I'm running back down to the dragon. And I'm pinging the dragon. Because I know their bot lane's dead. Or recalled. And this is a free dragon. So let's get this dragon while it's here. Cool. We'll recall on the spot and pass straight to the Krugs. Now that should be a Trinity Force. That's our Trinity plus an armor pot. Now, armor, I went armor because they have 4 AD in this game. Um, I can see why people wouldn't want to go armor here, though. Karthus did pop off quite hard. Now, I was expecting that. It was obvious. If you actually look at what just happened here. If you actually look at what this happened. Ignore the pings. Right, if we go back a bit. There's three mid. There's two mid, right? Now, when there's two mid, and your team is bot mid and recalled at base, plus one dead, it's obvious they're going to go for the, inf the Rift Herald, right? So, I was expecting them to go for Rift Herald, so I went for the Krugs. Notice that they're still not on the map. If anything, it should be plain obvious that they're on Rift Herald. I wait in this bush. Now, the reason I wait in this bush is because I was expecting them to come around straight away and pop the Rift Herald to get the top tower. Um, they didn't, though. Um, Nasus comes up, but that's it. So, Nasus is here alone. They engage mid, so I pop my Predator, and let's run on the Nasus. Miss the E, um, Ninetales style, of course. Um, he flashes away. Now, notice there's four people mid. A lot of people here would recall on the spot or, like, path to mid. Personally, I don't see any reason to because I know I can kill this Nasus. Uh, I have my Trinity. I'm so strong. It just comes down to landing the E. So, you can see there's the E land. It's a 3 HP wall, so he can't survive this. Snipe him with the E. And then, all of a sudden, the pressure comes out. I got the kill. Now, I'm threatening the towers as well. They have to halt their push in mid back out and come and deal with the map. So you can see now there's two people rotating up to me. One went bot to get the farm. So just keep that pressure going. I back out a little bit, but then go back in. I wanted their blue here. He decided to hit the blast cone. That's fine. I wanted their blue. Now this is one thing I'm really liking about the hex flash is you can do this. This play alone is awesome. I really like that, especially going over the dragon wall as well. I think that's a really strong point about uh, running Hex Flash, being able to snipe the blues and get out. Because all, otherwise, I'd have to go around this way, or I have to go around this way. Either way, from the time it saves for me to go from here to here by using Hex Flash is like two seconds. Um, from here to here, using Hex Flash without using Hex Flash is like six and seven. So, considering we're tossing up between Futures Market and Hex Flash, I think Hex Flash might have an edge, especially if you run well, only if you run Flash at least. So we see him doing the, uh, the Grump. We'll go steal it away from him. W the entrance. Not W him, W the entrance. We want to stop his pathing. And we'll recall on the spot. There's nothing further we can do here. Now you can see we're quite strong. We have our Grievous Wounds to deal with the Nasus Regent. We have our Lethality to deal with the pushing. So here's the first Maiden release. So we've shoved Maiden top. Works really well with timing because they send the um, Rift Herald mid. Now there's a little trick you can do here. If you block the Rift Herald just here, he doesn't charge and he just stands there because the Rift Herald cannot actually attack Maiden's wall, uh, Yorick's wall. So you can stall time by putting it in there. Like I said, because we have the Maiden in the side lane, we just don't want to fight, that's all. Kaisa mispositioned us off really badly here. And you can see we start winning this fight really, really heavily. 
Now, this wouldn't have happened if I was side splitting with the maiden. But we do it really well. So, got four brand new ghouls pushing the wave. We're in a really nice spot right now. So, we'll keep pushing, we'll keep pushing, we'll keep pushing. Now, I thought we could get the next tower as well, but then Carlos recalls and ults. I forgot he didn't ult yet. So, that's where the Hulk comes in. Notice Maiden is still alive and she's pushed all the way to the tower. Now, she's hitting that tower like a beast as well. So, we're going to get their, their camps on the way out and let's go for the scuttle. So we'll get the scuttle. Perfect. Let's go to the wolves, uh, the raptor, sorry. After that, let's go to the crux. Now, I'm on exactly enough that I need one more camp to get um, my Yomus. That's why I went for this crux. But things slowly start to fall apart a bit. Now, I, to be honest, I was a little bit tilted this game because even though I was playing absolutely awesome, I was a little tilted because my bot lane and my mid were just, I don't know what they were doing. So I send ghouls top and then rotate out. I, I misplayed by not putting one extra in there. But that was entirely needed. I needed to put that because it needed to put the pressure on the other side of the lane. Now, if you actually watch, I get all these minions. They don't miss a single one. So I effectively... Oh, wait. No, I missed one there. So I got six... I got five extra minions there. Now, I was figuring they were going to go do the dragon. So I rotated down. Pop the predator before so that if I do run past, I had the predator on. So I trap the Nasus. That's a four HP wall because I maxed it second. And we go straight into the Nasus. He flashes, but it doesn't matter. We get a free kill. So looking back at it now, I should have... I wanted to release the Maiden straight away to go for her to go bot. Um, I had to choose between going and helping him and getting the dragon. I chose the dragon. Because I didn't want to run into the 1v3. I still think, looking back at it now, I think I made the right call. It's this play that was wrong. So I shouldn't have run in. I should have run away here. Just so much damage, dude. There you go. And they get Baron out of it. So, what's really annoying in this game is that two of my mistakes in this game gave the enemy Baron. It wasn't my team, it was entirely me. I made two big blunders. One is in top lane and one's just there. And that gave away two free Barons. So, while we're doing, I'm doing really well. You can see I'm 614 with a shitload of CS. Looking at the total gold in the game right now, I'm, we're not doing well at all. We're behind 4k. Almost five, oh, over 5k right now. So, notice I left the ghouls in the lane. Then we leave out. So, always put ghouls in the lanes, guys. Always, always, always. So, they rotate mid. Now, I if you actually, when I if I do upload the video, you'll hear me say, we win this by split. We should not be team fighting. So when they send five mid, I don't care if they have Baron, I'm running straight to top because it doesn't make sense for me to group mid. So I'm going to top instead. They send Talon top. I wait in the bush just in case he goes by. He does go by, but um, I was too slow. Land the E. The second I land the E, looking at the map, there's no one there. I need to run. So I run like the wind. Um, it's not good enough though because Pike pokes, pokes his head out. I get pulled, Kaiser ult, Carpus ult, and I'm dead. <laughs> Fuck me. Luckily, Pantheon is such a stronger champion than I thought, and luckily that the Pike missed his ult. Because Pantheon did some serious work this game with me. Dude, Pantheon is so much stronger than I thought he was. Absolutely crazy champion, this one. So you can see, they get quite a lot out of this. So there's 6k gold ahead of us right now. But they didn't break any base towers. That's the main thing. So what we do straight away, you'll notice I actually pop all my stuff to get to bot here. So ASAP, we pop our Predator, pop our Yomus, get straight to bot, catch the wave early, raise ghouls, leave them in the lane and don't re don't throw them in. Don't uh, retrieve them. Alright? I get Card Assault. Now when there's a Card Assault and I'm the only one of, in, the, in the open... Apart from the Pantheon, I think they're coming on me. So, I was running like hell. And... I'm fucking dead again. Like, I, I don't know. <laughs> That's just fucking lame. <laughs> I got 100 to own. The card that's old is just so annoying to deal with. So, that's roughly the the max gold lead, I think. Oh, they were 8k gold ahead of us. So, they were quite far ahead. So it all comes down to, at this point, we just needed to find a way to stall the game out. Okay? We needed to find a way to interrupt their push. So you see, I pop my ult, wait around for the cooldown to hit zero. 
Oh, goes top, I go mid, okay? Now, I'm rotating around the map like crazy right now, just trying to find ways to pressure. Did they get the dragon? That's the first dragon of the game for them. The Talon goes and stops my ult, that's fine. The cooldown's not overly long. My mid gets killed. So I'll wait here in the swoosh just in case Talon goes past. He doesn't, so we rotate. Leave the ghouls in the lane again. We rotate straight to mid. Now I get a nice catch on this Kaiser here. Maybe it's not here. Maybe it's the next one. Pantheon does serious work in this game, no kidding. So I rotate down to see if I can catch the Nasus. I can't. Note my ghouls are still in top, all four of them. So I'm getting the CS from that side lane right now. So I go defend mid. Land the Aeon Kaiser. Flash auto dies to the Cat Pantheon Q. Cool. Now this wave is finally in a position where they have to go deal with it. So now they're going to send someone to deal with the top wave. So that push that I did before has put them on the on the defense. They have to send someone top and it halts their push. So I was pinging the Baron here, but yeah, it wasn't going to work. There you go. Guess what? We got the tower out of that as well. So they kill Zed there. Get the Just clear the vision out. Let's go get the Raptors. And you can see we're level 18 already. Like we're miles ahead of everyone in levels. We hit level 18 a while ago, actually. The talent goes top. Let's go put wait. Let's put Ghouls in the top lane again. And mistake number two. Fucking random ass talent appears and one shots me. So he didn't even need Carthus this time. He just one shotted me, and they get a free Baron out of it. So that's my second biggest mistake this game. Actually, this is the biggest gold lead now. Look at it. They were 10k gold ahead, 10.7k gold ahead. Luckily, Zed is able to kill the Talon. And luckily, my team's able to kill the Nasus. So that's two Barons gone, so it's not terrible. They were 10.7k gold ahead. Now it comes down to how we catch up. So pretty far behind. Still like last time. Going to send Ghouls into the side lanes to halt the pressure. So... I cast ult in the middle of the wave, knowing it brings four ghouls, and then we're just going to run out. The Maiden will follow us. All these ghouls will attack once, and then proceed down the lane. Then we just go and deal with playing defensive in the middle. Raise fresh ghouls in the middle. Now let's run bot, put the ghouls bot. So, ideally I would have put all four ghouls bot, but then I see that my team's getting engaged on, so what I do is I eat this camp, bring them all in. Let's go get, let's go um, help out our team. So we'll pop the Predator. Talon jumps the wall. Get a nice combo on him. Talon dies. Now watch how fast Kaiser dies just to my ghouls, man. Like, it's just my ghouls hitting her. I'm not doing anything in this fight. There you go. Now, there's a, probably a second misplay here. I could have used my stopwatch. I thought I could regen enough off the camp. I probably should have just hit it again. Uh, how did that kill me, though? What is the damage? 330. 80. Jeez, I'm really surprised that killed me, but... Yeah, really strong. Now, I was pinging my team to go to Baron, uh, to go to the Infernal here. I knew they could get it. Um, Zed had his ult soon. You can see I start pinging Zed's ult cooldown because he has his ult in like eight seconds. You can see that. Um, they could easily 2v1 him. It's not even close to being a difficult fight. Um, as soon as Zed's ult comes, it's easy. There you go, and then it's a free dragon. So you can see, dragon control of this game was really high. We managed to get a lot out of this. Zed does a nice um, uh, stopwatch. Oh, now I pass straight down into the mid lane because I figured there was going to be a team fight. We do have the ult available. Nothing happens. So I wait in the bush. Talon comes and checks. He's likely going to rotate around here. So I go in this bush just in case. What do you know? He runs around there. Um, so the most important thing right now is I'd probably give you a, a cute question to wonder right here for you guys. What do you do? Because we need to find a way to stall the pressure. If we put the alt top, it's pushing to us, which is nice, but it's going to take a while for it to get there. If we put the alt bot, it's pushing away from us, and there's more objectives to get. So what I do is I run bot here. And I put the alt bot, and let's just group back up. All we have to do is stay as a group. Teamfight Yorick is strong, boys. It's not weak. Fucking strong. Now, I figured they were in here somewhere, so I was just being a bit careful here. So, Maiden gets bot. 
you can see the pings going out on my maiden. So someone's pinging it going, we have to deal with this maiden. Talon comes, right? Now, ignore the fight. I just want to watch Talon, right? Look at how much damage I do to him. Right? So he kills maiden, right? He kills the maiden. That sucks, right? But he's at 500 health. So I'll ask you, can, can he actually just fight now? He can't. He has to recall first. So you'll see Talon recalls to base instead. Which then gives us the opportunity to actually make play somewhere else now. So, you can see, it ends up working out really well for us. They halt their push because Talon's forced to recall. Um, Zed trades one for one, but that's okay. Put the ghouls in top, rotate down. You can see the CS number really starts to go, hot, go up. Now, they... The way this bot lane was playing, I figured they had wards everywhere, dude. So I had a feeling they knew I was here. So I rotate around to see if I can catch the Nasus as he's pathing up. But little did I know there's a ward literally right here. So, that sucks. And I get fucking pulled. W blocks the entrance, and I flash away. I just don't want to die. Now here's another one. You can see the Baron's up, okay? I put the ward up. And I wait around, see if they rush it. Notice my ghouls are still top, right? This is good time for me to run straight to bot and to put my ult into the bot lane. So I run bot, run back, ult goes bot, and I recall on the spot. I figured I had enough time, but then as soon as I saw the Kaiser in the top half, I, I figured I didn't. Zed gets a nice catch onto the pike. It's a 5v4 now. We run straight down mid. You see, you'll see me spam ping mid like crazy. Everyone come mid. Now, one thing I always find that I really want you guys to try out a lot is whenever you're doing this kind of play where Baron's being threatened, let's say the enemy team has control over this area, they're all in this area, and then one team forces down mid. One thing that people do is they run through here all the time, and they recall in the bush, they recall in the bush. It's hilarious. So you'll see, instead of running down mid, I run into this area because I know everyone, for some reason, they always do this. They always trap themselves. So you can see the Kaiser is in there. So we get a nice catch onto the Kaiser here. And that's all we needed. As soon as Kaiser dies, we win. We win the fight. So we kill the Nasus with the two man. We us three kill the Kaiser. And then we run down mid. Now, in the event that we couldn't end this, Maiden offered us the ability to go Baron. Because now she's gonna push this lane. She'll get both of those towers. Probably die at the third one. But we'll get the Baron because someone will have to go deal with her. But, on the alternative, we can just end it. So we're more than strong enough to end this game. So we just aim the towers, and we win the game. So we literally won this game entirely off stalling their push and looking for picks. It, I, I was really bloody happy with this game. That was honestly one of my favorite games I've ever played. From that deficit to winning, especially when they had so many fed players on their team, it was just insane. Um, didn't play perfect. And I had a lot of help from Pantheon. He did a lot of work that game. But I really like utilizing the Maiden side split. It's absolutely awesome. So I hope you guys enjoyed that one. Again, let me know if you want me to upload the original one. And I will. Um, but um, yeah, it should be fun. So that got me Diamond 1. So next video you'll see will be my climb in the final stretch to Master. So hope you guys enjoyed that. And I'll catch you on the next video.